Welcome back everybody. Today I'm testing out the Presto Stuffler, which will make stuffed waffles. I had a request for this. It's pretty popular online and Amazon. So let's see how it works in today's video. I unboxed it earlier and here's how that went. All right, let's just crack this thing open and see what's inside. We're getting, we're getting there. Instruction booklet, very important. Well, I mean, it has kind of a Belgian style design to it where you flip it over. This supposedly also has built-in waffle tongs that you can remove it from the device itself, kind of cool. But what makes this different from other waffle makers is you can supposedly make really thick stuffed waffles and put pretty much anything you want in there and not just for breakfast. So what I gotta do now is read these instructions over, wash this off, hit the store, and then get started. Oh, I'm back in this little kitchen, haven't been here for a while, but I wash it off right over the instructions and I think I'm finally about ready to get started. And according to the instructions, the first thing you're supposed to do, place it on the countertop in the open position, check. And they make, make sure the waffle tongs are in place, and they are. Close the unit, plug it in. Now we have to wait for about 10 minutes for it to preheat and then we're ready to rock. All right, it's been preheating for about 10 minutes. Now you might think that this light goes out when it preheats, it doesn't. They just said it preheated for 10 minutes. The light has no bearing on the preheating the process. So we are preheated and ready to rock. Now they also say you don't need to use any kind of oil. So we're gonna go right in there. Now you're supposed to put just enough batter in the bottom to cover that up. They say about a third of a cup. And then you're supposed to go halfway up these blocks right here with your filling. And you're supposed to put batter to the top of those squares right there as well. So shouldn't be too hard. All right, I'm going to try a third of a cup and see if that covers it up. Well, that does seem to cover it up. Now I'm going to add some eggs here, some scrambled eggs, a little bit of cheese, and then top it off with more batter. I'm making a mess. Now what we're supposed to do is close it up and immediately turn it 180. They say that allows the batter to flow into the waffle grids for a fully formed waffle. Now set a timer for seven to eight minutes and hopefully it turns out okay. One thing I was noticing when I was filling that, as soon as you put that first layer on, it's starting to cook. You're kind of under the gun to get stuff in there as quickly as possible. So I'll check back in about eight minutes and let you know how it turned out. The timer's got about 20 seconds left. I can't wait to see what's in there. It smells good, so we shall see. All right, timer's off. <laughs> Here we go. And oh, that part looks pretty good. Now this, these are tongs. These are tongs that are pretty warm actually. Well, those are that's those tongs are warm those tongs are warm but oh look at that look at that thickness of this thing it's it's huge wow look at that that that's pretty impressive looking but before i cut into the first one let's jump right into the second one and get started with that now for the next one i'm, I'm using a recipe in the back for a pizza waffle i've already got everything prepared because i know i'm kind of under the gun as soon as i put my batter in there so let's try that out one third cup of batter that seemed to be a good amount last time I prepared some mozzarella cheese with sauce already on it. We got some pepperoni for the edges. Finish off with some more batter. Seems to be a good amount. All right, we're gonna close this thing up. Flip it over. So the timer for eight more minutes. I have eight minutes to kill, so let's check out the first waffle and see how that turned out. That one looks pretty good. What do you think, Bailey? Bailey's definitely smelling that. That smells pretty good. I'm gonna cut this thing open and see what's inside. Well, the outside's nice and crispy, that's good. And, whoa. Here's what we got on the inside. That looks beautiful, look at that. The outside's nice and crispy and brown and the inside's nice and fluffy, it looks great. But let's try it and see how it tastes. Here we go. Mmm, mmm. It's an egg and cheese waffle and it tastes pretty good. I've got five more minutes to go before the second one and see how that goes. And as soon as the second one's done, I'm going for the third one. The timer's done, let's check it out. Opening the waffle maker. Using the built-in tongs to lift. And, and the outside looks good. Before I cut into this one, I'm gonna start batch number three, which is the one that I'm kind of most curious about, which is chicken and waffles. One third cup of batter. A couple of chicken strips. Finish off with more batter. Close it up. Flip it over. Set the timer for eight minutes. All right, well, that one's going. Let's check out waffle number two and see what we got here. Let's cut open this pizza waffle and see what we got. And, oh, we got gooey cheese. We got pepperoni. I think we're good to go. Look inside there. Wow, that looks delicious. 
The cheese is just gooey, the outside is nice and crispy. Time for the taste test on this one. Taste test, waffle number two, the pizza waffle. Oh yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, oh yeah. Bailey's watching me eat this and I'm, she's making me feel guilty here. Bailey, I'm sorry. Oh, it's not perfect. All right, the timer's up. Let's try this last waffle and see how it turned out. Here we go. Oh, uh, once again, looks beautiful, looks beautiful. I, I like the tongs here, that's a really nice feature. The only thing I've noticed is sometimes it seems to stick to one side. I have to use something to pry it out of there. Not too bad though. All right, here is the final product of my chicken and waffles. I can't wait to see what's inside. It does look pretty good though. All right, let's cut it open and see how it looks. There you go, nice chicken inside the waffle. What do you guys think? I probably could have put more chicken. It seemed kind of full at the time, but now I realize I probably could have put one more strip in there. But let's, uh, let's finish this off the right way with a little bit of honey on top of there. You go dripping with honey, chicken, and waffle. All right, so as far as I'm concerned, this product works pretty well. I tried it three times. All three times came out great. I think I'm only going to get better over time as I use it. So as far as I'm concerned, the Presto Stuffler is a great product. If you've used this or something like it, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.